Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of a series of content that I'm crafting and putting together and I'm really excited to be able to put this together once a week for families. It's a means I hope that will give a lot of families content and ideas and really just a place where they can be formed and think, how can I build a holy family, right? And the title of the series is Building Holy Families. And why do I do this? Because I've been working with youth for the last 10 years and it's not easy. There's a lot of things going on in putting on youth events and retreats and clubs and activities and working with the boys and kids. It's just a lot. And you're accompanying these kids over so many years, but you can only do so much in an external environment. The question is, do they go home to an environment that actually continues that formation, to an environment where this journey to holiness actually is continued and supported by mom and dad, by older siblings, by the family. Is the family the place where they first build the foundations of things that we as priests, we as ministers to the youth try to do right in parishes or in retreat centers or in camps so this content each week is actually pretty simple it's going to be conversations and discussions on themes that will help parents just get ideas and resources and really just a place where they can process and think things through on am i going through the right path in building a holy family and it's a tricky line that we're walking on because there is the tendency that we can live in a in, in a world where where we're not in touch with reality, where the problems and the sufferings, and we know a lot of families are suffering different issues, we can pretend that they're not there, or we can go the other side and say, it's so hard. And we can feel oftentimes the temptation to throw in the towel. How do we reconcile both sides, right? How can we find the means and the support and, and best practices to be able to maneuver through this thing called life together. A family that, that is both in touch with reality, right? With their feet on this earth, but with their hearts in heaven, where living here on this earth, they live well, good lives, going through the suffering, going through the cross, but at the same time, their eyes are set on the ideal. Their eyes are set in heaven. Their eyes are set on the things that we know are deep-rooted in our faith. And how can we foster that as spouses and as kids, right? Or as parents to the kids and as siblings, as a family, right? There's a lot of things going on. This conversation can last forever. And my hope is through the different people that I know, through the different experiences that I've had, different stories, different successes, different moments of failure and, and crosses and accompanying people, we can come to that conversation and just support each other even through this means, right? So the content will be available both in video format and also in podcast audio format, which you can check if you're watching this on the description below. So this is a this is a work in progress. There's a lot of things that can be that can be learned as we go through this journey together. So I do invite you, if you have my contact information, if you want to reach out to me personally, write, give me feedback, give me ideas, anything you know that you've discovered that can help other people who will watch this, send them to me, put them in the comments, whatever it is, and we can build kind of this support structure together, even if it's online. And if I know you personally, then yes, I will see you in person and we can continue this conversation. There's so much good that can be brought out and shared and sometimes we kind of as the gospel says we keep it under our bed we hide the light that we can share to the world 